You guys, it is Monday afternoon. We just had lunch. Our stuff is being taken to the boat. And we are just hanging out in the hammocks. There's now like 30 people here. Definitely the most busy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. But we're, we're ready to go take a real shower, have some electricity, and it's really hot. It's very hot. It's so humid and hot, and we're gonna hopefully go zip lining, mm -hmm. and then be back to mainland Iquitos. But we've cleared out our room. We said goodbye to one of the beds in our room had ants, and... You now the garbage is just full of ants. Probably. <laughs> we put all of our trash in there. Our, all of our crumbs from our snacks. But yeah, we're we're ready to head out and it's been great. Really loved it. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of great memories and a really, really exciting time. left the jungle a couple days early. We saw pretty much everything we wanted to see. I still don't think Kyle's at 100%. I think I am. And yeah. it just kind of made sense to leave when we did. So we left a couple days early. Um, we don't get a refund, but we'll That's survive. Okay. We did a zip line. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to do a canopy walk too, but it someone broke, broke it. Or something. I don't know, that's what they told us. So anyways, we, we really enjoyed our tour guide and we did see and enjoy so many things in the Amazon. And I'm sure there'll be videos and stuff about that. But yeah, we got to Aikido's. Oh, and Amy got 50 bug bites. They're bad, they're swollen. Like. That's her elbow. That's one. There's one there, they're all hard and swollen. That was another reason why I'm ready to leave. I also got my first sunburn. Don't get me wrong, we, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, we, we really loved being in the Amazon. And like this morning, we got up for sunrise and dolphin watching and the sunrise was just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm itching my bug bite. Um, we got to, an, to a Kido's, I don't know, four? Yeah, that sounds right. And, um, People we met on the boat were like, oh, we're staying at this bed and breakfast. And they had like dropped off one of their bags here already and had a really good experience. And so we didn't have a place lined up. So we said, follow that taxi, <laughs> follow that moto taxi. And so they only had one room available for one night. So we said, okay, we'll take it. And we showered very thoroughly, went to go get food. We saw there was a pizza place right across the street, according to Google. Couldn't find it. And then... And then we just got scammed. It's a long, unnecessary story. Basically... It's a long, unnecessary story. Okay, well, we got scammed. Maybe Kyle could say it. It was a long, unnecessary story. And anyways... It wasn't a lot of money. It's not a huge deal. No. But it sucked. Yeah, it was just... He wanted four soles, and we're like... Oh, I didn't... I asked if he had change. Yeah, if he, he had said, yep. And then we get there. No, he doesn't have change. Well, first he like gets, he's like, oh, let me show you the place. And so like we're following him, <laughs> which was weird. And he also kind of got pulled over by the police. So that was also weird. Um, and then he takes us to this place and asks a couple people for change. And they're like, oh, like, no, no. Nobody has change. And then he tells, he finds like a buddy of his. And we had 20 soles. He said he was charging us four, and it wasn't until later that we kind of like realized what he had said to the guy. That he wanted two tens. Two tens. And so then when we're like, do you have anything less? The guy's like, no, I don't have anything less. 
okay, well, can you, as a taxi driver, can you come pick us up in an hour? And, and he said, no. He said, no. No, I'm not going to wait. I don't blame him. And, and so we're just like, you know what? And this had been after 10, 15 minutes of, of like walking, walking around. around, asking people for change. I'm like, just get out of here. Like, if this is, if it takes 10 solos to get rid of you, fine. So whatever. So then, we were frustrated. So then we were frustrated. Finally got some food. We like this place a lot, but apparently the um, the Wi-Fi here in Iquitos is really bad, and I get that. But we got an email two days ago saying that there that our flight has had changes, and I cannot get it to load, and that's kind of important information. And so we kept on trying and trying and trying, and eventually I texted my friend. First I texted, yeah, I texted my friend, then I texted my brother saying, okay, you have Wi-Fi, I don't. Here is like our booking number, confirmation number, online check-in number, please <laughs> let me know. And my brother actually couldn't really find it, but my friend found the information, screenshotted it, and sent it to me. Thank you, Susan, because that seriously was like a huge stress source. But anyways, long story short, we're eating dinner, which was not great. <laughs> And um, right across the plaza is Doubletree by Hilton. And we didn't have a place to stay. We've got one other option, but we don't have Wi-Fi, so it'd be a bit of a gamble to just like go to that place and see if they can. And it's far. Yeah, and it's far. So anyways, we are gonna stay at Doubletree by Hilton tomorrow. And we're going to swim and Get pay, our laundry done. pay to have someone do our laundry. And there's two twin beds, unfortunately. So we're I don't think it was twin beds. I think it's twin bed. Okay, great news. So, yay! We're gonna have to share a twin bed tomorrow. You can you can sleep on it with your luggage, and I'll sleep on it with my luggage. No, no, we share a twin bed together. <laughs> All right, let's end this with a really funny story. We really loved our guide, and we met his wife. We got the land. And I was trying to tell, like, as we were saying goodbye, I was trying to tell her that her husband is the best. And um, I accidentally said to Esposa, so I put him in a, a feminine, what is the... So he should have said to no, us. No, but I mean, like, the masculinity, is that the right word? Yeah. Okay. So I said to Esposa, when it should have been to a sposo, and then I said, eres, okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't screw up again. I said to a sposo, and it should have been to a sposo. So you called him like the female. The f yeah, and then the word for best is mayor, and woman is muer, muher. And so I basically told her, your female, your, your spouse who's, a, I put him in a feminine masculinity, is a woman. <laughs> and so she smiled and laughed and I thought she was just like agreeing with me that I, that I like, yeah, he is the best. Tu esposo es mujer. And, and it wasn't until like an hour later when I'm in the shower, and I was thinking about what I said. And I'm like, Wait a second, I may have misspoke. And so I've got his phone number and I'm gonna text him later and tell him <laughs> what happened because I'm sure she has already told him. And then, because I thought it would be silly, not knowing my mistake yet, we were in the taxi driving away and I, was, I thought it would be funny to blow him a kiss. Oops. <laughs>